Hey, this is Mark from Eleven Labs. I wanted to kind of showcase the use cases for speech to speech. Um, text to speech is obviously very, very effective in creating lots of content, especially long form content. There can be some situations, however, though, when you maybe have a phrase that you want spoken in a very, very specific way, or maybe there's a specific word that you really need to put emphasis on. That's where speech to speech comes into uh, comes into play and can be very, very useful. So I wanted to show just a quick example of that. And I'm going to do so using our new voiceover studio. Um, I've created just a couple of different tracks where I have this quick back and forth um, kind of conversation, a lighthearted conversation. Um, you can also, by the way, in voiceover, voiceover studio, you can add a video as well. But for the sake of this, I want to show you how this sounds. This is just out of the box with text to speech. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? No, what happened? He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good one. Speaking of numbers, I tried to count all the stars last night. Oh, really? How far did you get? I lost count at infinity. Uh, you're something else. So there's obviously a lot of things we can change there. So let's start fixing some of these clips. Um, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is this clip right here, where he said he'll stop at nothing to avoid them. I noticed a strange like question mark at the end of that sentence that just doesn't fit. So let's have a quick listen again. He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. And now, so we obviously don't like that. We want to change that. You could just keep clicking generate audio and he might say it in a different way. Let's hear how he says it this time. He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. So he seems to be in this pattern where it's generating over and over in the way that we don't like it to. So that's where speech to speech comes into play and it's very effective. So I'm going to click on the clip. I'm going to scroll down here on the bottom right where it says dictation. That's speech to speech. And then I'm going to click the microphone icon and then start speaking and performing the way I want it to be said exactly. And it's going to match that um, to a T. So let's go ahead and try that. He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Once I'm done, I hit stop. And I'm going to hit generate audio STS. Give it just a moment there to generate the new audio that I just spoke. I'm going to move these clips shift click them and drag them over just so we have some room on the timeline maybe a little bit more and now let's have a listen he'll stop at nothing to avoid them perfect and he spoke it the exact way that i input it um let's move on another perfect use case of this is this next phrase which includes a little bit of laughing so you can set you can tell it sounded a little bit off have another listen ha <laughs> ha that's a good one okay obviously that doesn't sound realistic so let's go ahead and change that i'm going to click on the clip and I'm going to add a little bit of laughter to the beginning of that to see if it sounds a little bit more natural. <laughs> That's a good one. Speaking of numbers, I tried to count all the stars last night. I'm going to click stop and then generate audio STS again. And we'll see if that sounds a bit more natural. And let's have a listen. <laughs> That's a good one. Speaking of numbers, I tried to count all the stars oh, last really? night. Oh, really? I think that sounds a lot better. We're going to move this as well. And then we could also see that there was a little bit of audio there at the beginning. So I'm going to click trim and just at the beginning because I don't want it to sound bad at the start. So now let's have a listen. Avoid them. <laughs> That's a good one. See, that sounds a lot more natural in my opinion. Um, there was a couple other ways we could. Oh, this last phrase here. Obviously, we can't have him say sigh or something else. So we're going to add an audible sigh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this by clicking the clip and then just performing it the way I want it to sound. So click dictation and here we go. <sighs> Here's something else. Click stop, generate audio. Perfect. Let's have a listen. <sighs> You're something else. Perfect. And the same thing, I'm going to click the trim tool and take out this little excess bit here and then move it over. And there was one thing, more thing I wanted to change. I really wanted to make this line, oh, really, how far did you get? Let's have a listen. Oh, really? How far did you get? I lost. I want to make it really, really sarcastic. So I'm going to move these over to create a little bit of room. So I'm going to go something like this. Oh, really? And how far did you get? And click generate audio STS. One thing to note, too, is when you're doing this STS, it does not have to be the exact words that you see in the speaker box. You could start speaking anything that you want. So as you can tell, I changed and added a word. So here we go. Count all the stars last night. Oh, really? And how far did you get? I lost count at infinity. <sighs> you're something else. There we go. And so that's a quick example of how you can use speech to speech in a voiceover studio. And you can use it in many other projects as well. I hope that this demonstration was helpful. As a sign off, I'll actually use speech to speech to change my voice like this. 
um, which is also a very, very effective way to use speech to speech if you need to change your voice or maybe you don't like the sound of your voice. Or there's another speaker whose voice you have to use. Um, again, speech to speech is really effective in creating kind of those subtle nuances of the human voice. And I hope you found this demonstration effective and helpful, and we're excited to see how you use speech to speech in the future.